It is estimated that the world's deadly snake species number no more than 600. Nevertheless, despite the higher prevalence of non-poisonous snakes, it is estimated that 222 to 380 people perish from snake bites per day. There are about 5.4 million snake bites each year, resulting in around 81,000 to 138,000 deaths and causing many more disabilities. And it is hard to imagine that such a tiny drop of venom could have such deadly effects. After the bite, you will be paralyzed and have cramps. In 15 minutes, you will meet a terrible end. Conversely, a type and encounter may result in far more disastrous outcomes. This one is the most deadliest snake. Compared to a cobra, its venom is 180 times more poisonous. The venom of a single type and may kill 2,50,000 mice or 100 humans. The Taiban's venom functions relatively simple, hematoxin, which is present in the poison, prevents blood from clotting. Your blood turns jelly-like and you begin to bleed, but the process never ends. The Irula people, a tribe in southern India, have a reputation for their snake handling skills. Some members of the Irula tribe have been known to consume small quantities of snake venom as part of their cultural practices. Humans don't have an innate tolerance to snake venom. Snake venom is a complex mixture of various proteins enzymes and toxins specifically designed to incapacitate or kill prey. When introduced into the human body, venom can have a wide range of harmful effects. While it's true that some individuals who work with snakes, such as snake handlers or herpetologists, may develop a degree of resistance or immunity to snake venom over time. This is not due to innate tolerance. Instead, it's a result of repeated, controlled exposure to non-lethal doses of venom, which triggers an acquired immune response in their bodies. When snake venom is introduced into the body, the immune system recognizes it as a foreign invader. It starts producing specific antibodies in response to the venom's components, such as toxins and enzymes. These antibodies are designed to neutralize the venom. The antibodies bind to the venom's toxins, essentially tagging them from removal by the immune system. This binding can prevent the venom from interacting with target cells and causing harm. Iladi Kwamida the island is estimated to house between 2,000 and 4,000 golden lancet vipers. These snakes are exceptionally venomous and their venom can lead to a range of severe health issues. The truth is that as the ocean level rose, the rarest and most deadly snake in the planet became trapped on the island. The snakes multiplied swiftly after acclimating to the new environment and eventually took over every available area. There are already around 4,000 lethal examples on the island. In order to keep humans safe from snakes and the snakes themselves from people, the Brazilian Navy bird entry to the island in the 1920s. It's best to stay away from such dangerous snake habitats, leave their management to experts, and exercise caution and respect when encountering snakes in the wild.